So hi guys, it's me again, Otek, and today I want to talk about this new phone, the Techno Spark 7 Pro. So this is the phone, the Techno Spark 7 Pro. It just newly came out of the market. So uh, I got this from uh, Lazada, and uh, I want to review what the what's the other uses for the phone so watch my video for the in-depth use of the techno spark 7 pro so guys mobile legends is played on default default settings so it's playable no lags no frame drops So when I played the Mobile Legends, so if you can see, this is the settings, set to high. So playable na playable yung Mobile Legends sa phone. So ito guys, NBA 2K Mobile. Choppy yung game. Uh, hindi smooth, ganun ka smooth yung graphics niya. Uh, a little playable pero yun, yun lang. Uh, hindi maganda yung... Uh, smooth, hindi smooth yung gameplay niya. But still, you can, you can play. And the game is set at default default settings so that's the gameplay of the 2k mobile so we tried to install um, NBA 2k20 pero ayaw mag load that's why uh, yung NBA 2k mobile na lang yung na install natin so, if you look at it, so ayaw mag-load. So, sa Asphalt 9, guys, it's very much playable. Uh, you can't hardly see any frame drops. So, ito, maganda yung graphics. It's also set at default settings. Ito yung gameplay sa Asphalt 9. And now guys, we're playing uh, Call of Duty. So, this is also set at default settings. So, it's very much playable in game. Default setting nya is graphics, so medium is the default settings, but the game is uh, very much playable. So now guys, try natin yung Genshi Impact na game. So this one. It's also playable. Okay naman yung game. Uh, graphics is set at also default. 
So let's check kung ano yung graphics. Settings. So, you, if you can see, it's set at the lowest. Para you can play a uh, Genshin Impact game. And okay naman, playable siya. And for the price na... Uh, budget budget price na you can play already Genshin Impact so it's good already may counting frame drops but you can still play the game So there you go guys, Genshin Impact. Now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth gamepad to the Techno Spark 7 Pro phone. So let's try to play the game Tekken using our Bluetooth gamepad. So, same as always, same character. So, okay yung game, no frame drops, uh, mabilis yung, ano, yung reaction time. The sound is... Also, hindi nag, ano, nag, cut. So, it's very much playable. So now guys, I've connected my Bluetooth keyboard to the Techno Spark 7 Pro and connect tayo ng, let's try to connect this wireless mouse through the micro USB dongle. So ito yung micro USB. Try to connect. So, OTG. Turn on the mouse. So, let's see. So, yung walang mouse guys, we cannot use the wireless mouse dito, but let's try the Bluetooth keyboard. So, the Bluetooth keyboard, let's 
put this on rotation mode so bluetooth keyboard works so, type type tayo wrong spelling so there so you can use the bluetooth keyboard but walang mouse walang wireless mouse so try to you to maybe the connection oh there so it's just the plug sorry guys so meron palang mouse so try again there so they are using the keyboard So you can you can type your uh, word processing on the phone using the Bluetooth keyboard and mouse. So now, guys, I have connected my Techno Spark Seven Pro to the Epson L thirty one fifty via Wi-Fi. As you can see. Wi-Fi there it's connected so let's go to the app so let's try to print photo let's try to print this click So choose the paper, the ordinary paper lang. Then, yung print quality standard. So there, so print. So you can print your documents, pictures, or anything via phone, via Wi-Fi. So ngayon, let's try to cast the screen of the phone to the big TV. So what you do is... There, click on screencast. So, searching. Let's click on the smart TV. That's the smart TV. So, connected yung phone to the TV. As you can see. There. So, you can watch your movies on the big screen so let's try to uh, watch a movie
or if you want your pictures to be shown by your family or friends through the big screen so you can still do it here there see on the big screen yeah. so let's try the MHL wire so get our handy dandy remote source go to HDMI so this is for the HML wire so if, pula kayo, if you don't have a Google Chromecast or a smart TV and you want to watch on the big screen so ito yung gawin natin so yung wire connect natin dito so let's click on allow then let's download this app easy cast app so there let's click on that permission so Where? So, okay. So, USB tethering. So, loading. So, we're good to go, guys. So, watching on the big screen. Hmm. And again. Let's try another Car number six, we are moving. Four alpha repeat four alpha. But I suggest that you connect to a Bluetooth when using the wire. Because I am mag project so Sound. It just goes out through the phone speaker. So that's it, guys. If you want to watch on the big screen using your phone, so now, guys, let's try to do the force desktop mode. So go to developer options, then click on the force desktop mode this tree enable free form windows and resize so once that's it click ok we go to screencast so try nothing if capable by your phone to do the desktop mode so what I like about the desktop mode is you can use your phone while watching movie or doing something on the big screen at the same time. So, then. so let's click on this first. Try on the mouse again. So let's put this down here. down here so while using the phone for example if you want to use the phone on social media there so can you Click on the mouse for the desktop mode. So there you go guys. If you can see the pointer, I'm moving the mouse right, left. So you can watch movie and 
at the same time use your phone So guys, I've tried to put some apps here, but you see, I, I seem can to add some apps so that we can use the is there no not nothing. I can seem to add up, so we can put it here. So. Parang yung force desktop mode niya is walang use because you can only use these apps here. So try natin iba. There's another parang force desktop mode. It's called Sancho. But you cannot use the phone at the same time. You cannot use the phone and the big screen at the same time. Uh, it has to be at the same time. So, parang mirror lang siya. So, there you go, guys. So now guys, this is my take for the Techno Spark 7 Go. Um, yung, yung good not, let's start with the good. So the good is, it's already a 90 hertz refresh rate. So mabilis na yung uh, screen refresh rate niya. As you can see, there. And malaki na yung memory, 6 gig. But yung, six, yung hard drive niya is only a 64 gig drive. So you can't put a lot of uh, games, pictures. So you need to buy a memory card for it. Um, yung good na naman niya is um, it can almost play all the games except for the NBA 2K20. So... That's the only drawback there. So, at least it can play the yung Genshin Impact but low at, at low graphics. Pero okay naman. Um, for, for the social media, so no problem there. Any, yung, yung phone can handle the social media, the social media, ano niya. And, yun, uh, that's the good thing. Uh, it can cast the screen uh, now you let's go to the bad so yung bad niya for me is yun hindi siya makaplay ng NBA and yung the one thing that I like with uh, my Samsung that's why I kept my Samsung is the uh, parang yung uh, ano niya yung desktop mode so, dito sa phone, 
meron siyang desktop code pero you cannot uh, put apps so you cannot uh, use the large the big screen while using your phone uh, like browsing or something so you cannot use the big screen to watch movies or watch mga co uh, contents on YouTube like that so you cannot do two things at the, you cannot multitask you cannot do two things at a time so parang screencast lang siya and also the bad thing yung isang nakita ko na I don't like with the phone is micro USB pa siya hindi siya yung type C so mas gusto ko na sana type C USB type C na oh the it yung ano yung nagustuhan ko is yung punch hole niya is on the upper left ayoko kasi yung mga punch hole na nang yung nasa gitna kasi obstruction when you, when you watch a movie it obstructs the view so that's the uh my that's my take on the phone but the phone is really nice ganda yung yung display niya yun uh 6.6 .6 inch lang yung screen uh, kasi yung iba may 6.8 na 6.95 so when you watch a movie on the phone so malaki yung makikita mo sa sa movies so that's it guys this is my uh, verdict for the uh, Techno Spark 7 Pro phone so see you next on my next vlog and thank you for watching and please subscribe and like to my channel and hit that uh, bell icon to so that you can you'll be notified for my um, future blogs so thank you guys